Alright guys, I'm just going to pause the video right there. I'm so sorry. I didn't really have time to do a proper intro as I was kind of rushing it. But yeah, I hope you guys have been staying safe with the coronavirus. And um, yeah, this was just a quick video just to share with you my experience. And so I can look back on remote learning as well. So hope you guys enjoy. And um, we have tests sometimes. And I'm doing a maths test right now, so I'm going to take you along with me just to see how everything is and so I can look back on this and see how we did test in remote learning. First off, I do not wear glasses. These are just for looks because it makes me look small. But yeah. Okay, so basically how this works is each two weeks we do about six modules or more and then we get tested on them. And we get to choose the modules because we get to work at our own pace because each person's different. And this is my summary so I can remember everything. We have a paper test and a online test. So I've already started. I've already done question one and I'm figuring out question two right now. So we're going to kind of go backwards here because I've already done question one. So we're going to go into question two. According to my calculations, the answer is 10. The equation is x plus 3 um, over y plus 3z minus x when x equals 9 y equals 3 and z equals 5 and i'm going to explain how i got 10. so basically um i just rewrote the equation up there and then x is 9 so we got 9 plus 3 which is here and then this line means divided by so divided by 3 because y equals 3 then we've got plus three um times because when it's together it means times and z is five so three times five minus nine because it's minus x and x equals nine so we've got nine plus three which equals 12 divided by three which equals four plus and then three times five equals 15 so four plus 15 which equals 19 and then 19 minus 9 which equals 10 and that's how i got my answer so i'm gonna just write that in right now 10 submit answer Chiching. okay if you want to see question one that was question one and i got 75 so um most of these modules I did were algebra and algebra is pretty hard if I'm being honest and some bits easy but you know I've got this I can do this so now the question is 2mc when m equals 9 and c equals 2 that's very easy so when a number's with two letters that means times in by it and then it literally just says m equals 9 and c equals 2 so it'd be 2 times 9 times 2 I don't even need your summary. <laughs> Anyways, so we're gonna go to sketch pad. Alright, so we've got 2 times m equals 9. So 2 times 9 times c equals 2. So 2 times 9 times 2. And 2 times 9 is 18. And 18 times 2 is... Which is 36. I literally just had a blank out, so... Answers 36. Let's just hope that I'm getting these right because um, I'm like 95% sure. I'm like really bad at remembering stuff, so I don't know. So, yeah. Okay, now we've done that module for the online test module. Moving on to the next module, we've got angles and algebra. And yeah. This is a straight angle. And a straight angle is 180 degrees, so let me just write this out real quick. So, I'm literally like giving you guys answers, like if you have any of these questions. And oops, angles. So, straight angle, which one am I supposed to be? Angles are 180 degrees. 
and then we have to figure out the x and y angles. So we they give us multiple choices so to pick. So let's see. 70 plus 120, so 120 plus 70, we have to add up to 180, so that's 190, so it's not A. Um, then we've got uh, X equals 70, and wait, we literally just did that, except it was with the degree sign, but it's not that. So it has to be C or D, and it's got to be D because it has the degree sign, so it's 110 plus 70. We've got 0 plus 0 is 0, 7 plus 1 is 8, and 1 plus 19 is 1. So it's 180, and we've got the little degree sign, which is right here. So it's definitely D. It's not C, even though it's the same numbers, it has that degree sign. So yeah, it's D. I am like nailing this test so far. Alright, so now we've done algebra, algebraic substitution, angles in algebra, and now... Okay, these are on the pick test. Now I've just got to do splitting angle pairs. I swear I'm like losing my voice or something. Okay, so the question is, which angle is corresponding to the given as 120? I might need to use my notes for this one. Can we just, can we just take one moment to appreciate my aesthetic notes? Why can't I zoom in? Oh, well, yeah, like, look at those headings, bro. They're beautiful. Oh, Liza means nothing. Guys, let's just say I'm average. Like, I'm not like very, very smart, like advanced smart, but then I'm not like dumb either. So, I'd say I'm a little smart or like average. Remind me why I'm vlogging this again. So, I honestly thought I was going to nail this test, but I'm not going to. But it, it could be. I just, I don't know if it's right or wrong. But I'm going to submit it anyways. So I'm currently in Pringles because I'm hungry and I've done the online test and now I'm on to the paper test. Three and I think that's right but I'm not too sure. Also it is like three hours later from what it was before because um, I kind of took a break in between so yeah it's been like two hours. But oh well. Anyone could literally just cheat on their test because they're at home, but like, I mean, that's their own problem because they're not learning. I'm not cheating, obviously, because I already know everything here, so. And if I get something wrong, then I learn from it. Hey guys, so I actually, um, I finished my paper test and my online test. And I think I did pretty well. I nailed it. And I actually got 100%. And I am really proud of myself because I like remembered everything. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like, subscribe, press that notification bell. And comment down below which videos you would like to see. Because um, I've just been posting a lot of Fortnite videos. And I think you guys enjoy them. So I'm just going to keep posting them and different videos. So bye guys. Stay safe.